if I look at a distant star, um, the light may have taken 10 years to reach my eyes from the star. I think when I project out the image of that star, I'm in a sense connecting with the star, um, with my mind. Does that mean I'm connecting with the star as it is now, when it may have moved, it might even have exploded and disappeared? Um, well, no, I'm connecting with the star as it was 10 years ago. But if that's happening, if I'm projecting out to that star, does that mean I'm projecting 10 years back into the past? I think it does. And this, to me, raises a very important general principle. What is the direction in which conscious causation works? Normal forms of causation work from the past to the present. A billiard ball comes along, it hits another billiard ball, and off it goes. That's the kind of causation we're used to. The kind of causation that occurs through memory and through habit is also from the past. I have a theory about the habits of nature, and organisms tend to repeat habits that have been built up. In fact, I think the so-called laws of nature are like habits. They're based on what's happened in the past. That, again, is causation from the past. But consciousness, I think, involves a different kind of causation. I think it's working from the future in the opposite direction. And so my own view is that conscious causation um, does involve this kind of move, opposite direction of movement. So our consciousness is working from a realm of virtual possibilities, of, of virtual futures, into the present. As the physical reality is moving that way, consciousness is moving that way, they meet in the present. And they, as they meet in the present, um, in, in quantum physics, so what would be, it would be called the collapse of the wave function. There's, there's this change in p possibilities the possibilities are fanning out all the time according to quantum theory and even according to common sense. Each one of us at any moment has many possibilities. Um, I can move my head and look at anything in this room. So everything in this room is potentially part of my perception. All those possibilities coexist. And so at, all, at any time there's all these possibilities. Consciousness inhabits the realm of possibility of things that have not yet happened. That's what it is. That's what, it, what it's about. That's why it's not the same as actuality. It's, it, it lives in the realm of possibility, which was always in the future. And so insofar as you make a decision choosing among possibilities, which is one of the primary functions of consciousness, to choose among possibilities, um, then as it makes that choice, it's cho choosing among things in the future, and it's influencing the present, but that influence is flowing from the direction of the future into the present, the opposite direction from other kinds of causation.